Hey, hey guys. guys! Welcome back to The Traveling Swiss. If you are new here, my name is Alexis and I'm from the US. And I'm Louis and I'm from Switzerland. And together we make videos all about living, but more specifically about traveling all throughout Switzerland. So if that sounds interesting to you, click that subscribe button to make sure you don't miss out on our uploads. We're gonna start uploading weekly on Fridays. So I often get asked by those of you looking to plan a trip to Switzerland, what foods you need to eat. Switzerland is really well known for cheese as well as chocolate, that many of you know. But I don't know if you know that there's many, many variants on both of these things along with a whole other slew of amazing dishes that you need to try in Switzerland. So in this video, we're gonna break it down into five categories. We're gonna go through cheese, those Alpine specialties, so those dishes that you mm -hmm. eat when you're in the mountain and it's really, really cozy. We'll go through desserts, chocolate will be included in this one. Then we'll go through some regional specialties, so dishes that you can only get or you should get in certain places. Yes. And then we'll end it with some snacks. So we're gonna go through 20 in total, so stay tuned while we go through the top 20 dishes you need to try in Switzerland. So the first one, and my favorite one maybe, is the Swiss fondue. So this is, I think, my favorite uh, dish in Switzerland. It's many people's you are, favorite dish. <laughs> yes, you're melting cheese, so and then you're dipping bread in it, so what's not to like? You have the classic half and half, the moitié-moitié fondue, which is half Gruyère and half Vacherin. This is the best one in my opinion, the most classic but the best one. You will find a lot of different fondues in Switzerland and, and it's interesting to, to try different ones. What you do with fondue is that you have your bread and you dip it in the, in the cheese and then you eat it. You can put a little bit of pepper also with it and you should drink either tea or white wine with it. Don't drink cold water because then uh, the digestion will be a little difficult. But this is, <laughs> <laughs> this is our top one. Moving on to that other cheese dish that you might have heard of in Switzerland is raclette. Raclette is also a very fun uh, sort of activity when you are in a group. I really love raclette as well. It's a little bit different. You, you also melt cheese, but different type of cheese. You have a rind to the cheese that gives a little crisp also uh, on, on both ends. And you have, uh, you do this on potatoes, whereas fondue you do it with bread usually. Different carbohydrates. <laughs> <laughs> and you have usually cornichon, and which is a, a small pickle in a way and little onions that you eat with it. This is really, really good and you can find it everywhere in Switzerland. The third one and you might not have heard of this one and I'm very excited actually to, to share this with you and hopefully you can try this because I love it. Uh, it is the Malakoff. This is, this could be in the regional tradition also because it's close to the Lake Geneva usually, but it is uh, basically fried cheese ball, so it sounds good. And this is Gruyere and they add some special ingredients in it and it's just amazing. It's crispy on the outside, it's very gooey when you, you open it, you should eat it with um, salad with, that is a little acidic. And it's just amazing. So if you see this on the menu, usually sometimes they, they serve it also on an appetizer, just one or two. You can have it as the whole meal. So the place that Malakoff is coming from is Loin or Vinzel. <laughs> this is close to Nyon and Geneva, but all around the Lake Geneva and a bit further, you might find those. So if you find those in the menu, order it. And the last point I wanted to make on cheese was actually trying Swiss cheese, so not a dish in itself, but just at the end of your meal or just also bringing back home. Swiss cheese is something that I really recommend trying. I, my favorite is Gruyere. This is really an amazing cheese because you can eat it just like this. You can melt it, it melts perfectly. It goes into dishes, into gratin super well. It's just, it's it's the top cheese for me in the, in the world. <laughs> Gruyere is amazing, but you can try other things. One other one that I would recommend is the Vacherin Mondor, which is different. It's in a kind of wooden box and it's gooey inside. It's something different that you could try. And the last one I would recommend is the Tête de Moine. So this is a fun, uh, experiment basically you are doing sort of a, a little flower of cheese but it's also a nice taste and it's a fun experience also to to do this so this is it for the cheese in switzerland enjoy <laughs> Okay, so next we're going into the Alpine category. And of course you can have a lot of these cheese dishes in yes. the Alps too. But the next one I think are specifically dishes that are known for being served in the mountains and you can have also in cities, but they're just so cozy when you yeah. eat them up in the Alps. So the first one is a frischti and this is a 
uniquely Swiss dish. It's basically pan fried potatoes. So it's potatoes it's that kind are of hash brownish. Yeah, though. it's potatoes that are grated into like a large, flat, round thing. They're fried in pan and flipped, and they're served with different things. So mm -hmm. you can have it served with like an egg on top, which is really good, or bacon, really hearty, mm -hmm. hearty stuff. You'll find, I think, as we go through this list, potatoes and cheese and, <laughs> and are, are often bases of a lot of cuisine in in Switzerland. So Rusty, I really recommend trying. You'll mm -hmm. probably see a few different types on, on menus yeah, you have as you go around. Also one, uh, and, exactly. and ones. Exactly. Rusty is something that you might not be familiar with, but now you just know it's basically a giant hash brown. <laughs> okay, so the next one that if you've watched a lot of our videos, you've probably seen me order this <laughs> a few times, and that's Alpen Macronen, and that is kind of literally the Alpine macaroni. And mm -hmm. cheese. Yeah. yeah. There is pasta that has melted different Swiss cheeses on it, Gruyere, different things, and it'll have speck. It'll have really, really crispy, delicious onions on it. And they serve it with applesauce, so it's mm -hmm. applesauce with macaroni and cheese. Which is interesting. It, it adds some flavor to yeah, it. Yeah, I, I think. And, and makes it less heavy, maybe. Yeah, a little. Eh, it's pretty heavy, <laughs> but <laughs> it's, it's a very delicious dish. It's very, very rich and unctuous, so if you're very, very cold and you want something that's going to hit the spot, I recommend getting Alpen Macronen. And the last thing, which is another nice Alpine kind of cold winter feeling mm -hmm. specialty, which if you watched one of our last videos, we told you is really, really great to get in the fall. That's the season. And yeah, that is the October, season. October, November, December. And yeah. that is the season of game. So if you're watching this video when it came out, you're right around the beginning of the game season. So this is venison. Very, Switzerland is very, very known for this. And correct me if I'm wrong, there's restrictions on when you can hunt the exactly. venison. So there's a season. So October and November, maybe December too, you have venison on the menu. Very, very good in Switzerland. I don't know mm -hmm. if there's something different that's gone on. I've had venison in different places, but for whatever reason, it's excellent in Switzerland. They also have hair I've seen on a lot of different menus. So there's some interesting yeah. game that's that worth trying. That you don't see the rest of the, the year. Exactly. Yeah, you have different things with it you have some little jams with it some different types of uh, of of other tiny dishes with it it's a uh, yeah it's a uh, you, you go usually for for game in restaurants when uh, when it's october november and it's a uh, yeah it's a fun uh, fun time of the year for this okay so now you've had your really really rich hearty alpine meals and your fondues and your cheeses and you want something sweet so switzerland also great news for you is really really excellent as far as desserts go yeah, yeah so the First one I'm going to go with is actually the obvious one, which is chocolate. We are very good at chocolate, especially milk chocolate, I would say, because we have amazing milk also in, uh, in Switzerland. Swiss chocolate is delicious here. You'll find it everywhere. You have sort of specialty chocolate, and these brands are like Sprüngli, Lederach, Martel, Auer. You have different chocolatiers everywhere, and you don't really go wrong with, you know, with Swiss chocolate. Usually it's going to be delicious. You have also some more store brand. You have the Lindt. The Cahier is also one to try. Villard. Chocolates, I still wanted to, to, to say it in our top 20. And I always like to talk about the chocolates from Geneva, especially that Marmite de l'Escalade. What this is, is basically to commemorate a victory over France that tried to attack Geneva in 1602. You had a person, an old woman with a soup that threw the soup and the pot actually on a person down her window and kill him and then now we commemorate this kind of victory with a sort of replica of that cauldron with marzipan vegetables in it and uh, the whole cauldron is in chocolate and we break this and then you eat the chocolate but this is just a, a fun tradition about chocolate that I wanted to share with You'll you guys. see them in all the storefronts when yes. you're in Geneva kind of end of November early December so Perfect. if you're wondering what it is now you know. The second one that I wanted to point out is the Likerli, this is from Basel. So if you are in Basel, but also in the whole Switzerland now they sell this. These are little cookies that are a little bit, that have some spices in it and it's quite a, a different texture. I really like it. I think we had it in our Basel video. Mm -hmm. This is something that is unique to Switzerland, especially to Basel and uh, a nice cookie to bring back home and to try otherwise in, uh, in Switzerland. It almost has a gingerbread-esque yes, kind of, taste, yeah. but it's a much softer texture. So yes. it's very good. If you see Le Coli Hus, that's kind of the big store that sells it. You'll see it in airports and stuff too. But, but also yeah, in supermarkets. Interesting to try. 
The next one on dessert is also one dear to my heart. I think everything here is dear to my heart. <laughs> I love to eat. We love to eat. But this is the new starter. This is uh, nut tart, and this is just also very rich, but it's delicious. There are two regions that do these new starter. The Engadin region, this is in Graubünden, they do that very well and you can find it in, in the different places where you go. What I actually prefer, I, I really like it, but I even prefer the Early Beck version and this is in the Berner Oberland in the valley of Gstad. Early Beck is a bakery. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and Early Beck, that bakery makes it with the sort of cow milk and cream and it's very... Uh, it's very rich, but it's just delicious. It's uh, it's very um, sweet also. But if you are in that valley of Kstad, you are in Chateau de Rougemont, around there, you can find it. You have to go for it because that new start is delicious. Otherwise, in the Graubinden region, if you are in Engadin, if you are in, we were in Squall and we found it. Maybe in uh, also in uh, in Saint Moritz, you'll find it. And so this is also a, a very nice dessert to try. And our last dessert, last but not least, is the double creme and meringue. I think also near and dear to us. Yes. So <laughs> this is especially in Gruyère. Gruyère is where they make the Gruyère, but they are. They didn't stop there and for dessert they have that double cream. So double cream of Gruyère is, as it sounds, pretty heavy, but it's just delicious, right? So if you buy heavy cream in a store, yeah, it's, it's like 20 something percent milk fat. If you buy double creme, it's like 40 plus percent yeah. milk fat. So yeah. it's really, really like super concentrated cream. That's amazing. Cream. <laughs> It's like thick and gooey. It's like mm. thicker than yogurt. Oh. It's hard to describe. And you'll find this, I think, in the whole sort of French part of, uh, of Switzerland. And you eat it usually with meringues. You can also eat it with fruits. Yeah, this is a really, really good dessert. After after having done a fondue from uh, Gruyere, you go for the meringue and then you can sleep the whole, the whole day. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to cover some particular regional specialties. As you're traveling around Switzerland, I encourage you to look at on the menus when you're in different places so then people know that you're not just a regular tourist. You've done a little bit of research and you know what these regions are known for and you're going to go there and try it. So starting in Zurich, because I know a lot of you fly in and out of Zurich, there's Zürcher Veal. This is a minced veal, almost like a stew that's served with mushrooms. It's a very, mm -hmm. very hearty cream kind of yeah. it's a very very hearty almost like foresty type of dish as we mentioned a few times the cows in switzerland are treated very well so all of the products from veal to dairy to cheese and everything in between in switzerland just has a different taste than it does in other mm -hmm. places so zurich veal is something to get when you are in zurich if you go east into the canton of graubund or grison in french so this is something you've probably seen me order if you've watched a few of our videos again. I like it a lot. It's called Gustenzuppe. This is from the canton of Graubünden, as I've said. And this is a barley-based soup. So barley is the grain that's in it. Mm -hmm. And it's not particularly heavy. Nope. As you've seen, compared a lot, to the other ones, a lot of the other things we mentioned on this are really, really party dishes. And this is a lighter soup, very, very, very nice. I like it a lot. There's vegetables and barley, and I think it's a great appetizer to go into your meal and get your appetite warmed up. Or you can get a bigger version of it, but I recommend trying that while you are still in the canton of Grandbunden. This is something called Bunderfleisch. If you are in the French-speaking region, you might see it written as viande séchée, which means dried meat. meat yeah yeah so Bunderfleisch that's canton of Graubünden fleisch meat and this is the best way to describe it and this is going to be a kind of simplistic way to describe it but what prosciutto is to a pig this is to a cow so it's mm -hmm. it's a cured piece of beef but without fat so exactly. that's actually interesting i yes. don't always love prosciutto and coppa and things like that because they're a little too fatty i don't like the texture mm -hmm. if you were someone that's like that you don't like the texture this is just a very very mm -hmm. delicious piece of yeah. meat you'll Quite see this intense kind of yes yeah, you'll see this in Graubünden, that's a great place to try mm -hmm. it. But if you just want to try it, you can get it in most any yeah. supermarket mm -hmm. in Switzerland Ballet if you just want to taste it. Ballet also does it. You have different places, but Graubünden is the place where they do it best. Okay, so we're moving on. We'll go a little bit south now to Ticino. And Ticino is, of course, the Italian-speaking region of Switzerland. So you'll have more Italian esque food here. Of course, that has been adapted over time. It's not Italian food, it's Italian Swiss food. 
So what I'd recommend you try here is polenta. I think there's a little bit of historical debate about where polenta was <laughs> argued. I think Italians in the north of Italy would tell you something different, but in Switzerland they will tell you it is from Ticino. So if you are in the canton of Ticino, we definitely recommend trying polenta. They serve it in different ways. They serve it with beef. It'll be served as a side, as a main. It's very, very good to try. We have a video mm -hmm. in Ticino where you can watch and we got it in yeah. a few different places. So now we're gonna go back West in Switzerland to wrap up the regional section. So we are on Lake Geneva and we will get flat perche, which is tiny, tiny fish. They're called perch in English that are fished from the Lake Geneva. So they're served with a munya and it is basically a buttery lemon garlic sauce that's on the fish and it's very, very good. It's a fried fish that's served with french fries. So you'll see that on many, many restaurants that are around Lake Geneva, not just in Geneva, but in the Canton of Vaux, mm -hmm. etc. You'll see flat perche, so I recommend trying that. And the last regional dish, while you were still around the Lake of Geneva in the Canton of Vaux, you can get something that Louis really, really <laughs> loves. So this is two things. This is saucy so chou. So this is kind of a sausage that is cooked, that is with cabbage inside and different spices also. It's pretty, pretty interesting and unique from Vaux. And it's eaten with pape vaudois, which is leeks, kind of gratin. And both are really good and it's really special from the Vaux region. So if you are in Montreux, in Lausanne, this is a nice uh, dish to try. Okay, and wrapping it up, and we're gonna let Louis kind of finalize this <laughs> list because these are things that he grew up with, and again, near and dear his heart, and these are Swiss snacks that you should try. Yes. So these aren't things you'll get in restaurants, but these are things that you should pick up in the store or as a souvenir for the way home. Yes, so three things to, to, uh, to end that list that is very delicious actually and we are going to eat soon. I'm very hungry now. <laughs> <laughs> the first one in supermarkets is the Zweifel chips. This is a Swiss chip that is really crispy and all the Swiss people know it, love it. You have three that I would recommend, the paprika one, the nature one, and salt and vinegar ones. These are just, uh, you'll you'll find them in supermarkets and it's worth trying and, uh, and maybe you'll fall in love with the Zweifel chips. The paprika one is the one that I think is kind of taking Switzerland by storm. I had never tried a paprika flavored chip yeah, before so I had come here and it's at everyone's house. It's a pantry staple in Switzerland. Yeah. So if you want to look like a real Swiss, get this paprika version. Uh, the other snack that I recommend is actually for picnics and this is cervola. So this is a type of sausage that is also very special to Swiss kind of hikers. You can eat it raw skin. Pre-cooked pre yes, in the pre supermarket. You can eat it cold. You have some skin in it. You can <laughs> peel it and then eat it. You can also also cook it on a fire if you want, uh, if you are out and you are going to cook a few things with fire, this is also something pretty special for Switzerland. And the last one that I think can appear and that appeared in a lot of these dishes is just Swiss bread. We are doing, uh, I think I can say it, we are doing very good bread in Switzerland and you should really try to, to, to go out of your comfort zone and try different breads that are from the region that's, that are maybe a bit less white bread but uh, you have some really really good ones in the mountains. Uh, white bread actually that, uh, that I really love in Switzerland is the Tres or Top. This is with milk also in it. It's delicious. Another one bread that we love is the Ticino bread. It's like a soft pull apart bread that's great when you're on yes. the road to yeah. make little For sandwiches. For a sandwich and it tastes good also. Bread in Switzerland is something that you should really go out of your way to, to create sandwiches and picnics with and this is really uh, a, nice, uh, a nice addition to any meal or anything you eat. Okay, so that was the top 20 things that you need to try when you're traveling in <laughs> Switzerland. So we went all around the country. We had everything from cheese to chocolate, everything in between. If you are Swiss and you're watching this video, did we miss something you oh, liked? Yes. Tell Let us. us know in the comments. I know there's a few things that we didn't mention, like Rivella. Maybe the Swiss German. Uh, yeah, we don't parts. like Rivella. Yeah. If you guys like that, I don't oh, think it tastes good. That's not a good. dish, so that's fine. <laughs> it doesn't taste good. So if there's, if there's anything we missed, let us know in the comments. If you want to support us and see more videos like this, you can buy us a virtual coffee yeah. at the link here. But that is it for us, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, please make sure to like and subscribe. We'll see you soon.